Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome to another episode of Trucking Diaries. Now, we're going to do something a little bit crazy today. We've finished off, remember we stopped off here in, uh, I think, Bratislava. And I was looking at the job market in uh, Bratislava. And then I noticed these two here. And I got all excited about doing a special delivery and how much money it makes. And then I thought to myself, but hang on a minute. We have the world's most basic truck right now. We have a 4x2, 310 brake horsepower Scania R. Oh, it's not the most appropriate thing. In fact, it's highly inappropriate for doing heavy haulage jobs. But look at this. I mean, I can't do that. Well, it's 44 ton and 44 ton. Uh, sorry, not that one. 60 tons and 44 tons. That one we're going to write out. 60 tons and a three. Nah. This one, 44 tons with 300 in this game. Mm, that's dodgy, but it pays nine grand, nine and a half grand for 200k drive. I mean, that's full of win, isn't it? Eh? That's full of win, that. So we're going to do it. And we'll get free fuel because they'll fill us up, which is going to save a packet. So as crazy as this is, as inappropriate as this truck is, I'm going to give it a bash because the payoff is absolutely huge. Nine and a half grand plus a tank full of fuel for doing the job. Yeah, sign me up. It's not going to be easy. In fact, we may not be able to do it at all. It really depends on the route that we take. If we stick to motorways and stuff, we'll be fine. If we end up doing climbs, um, yeah, that's going to get messy. But I think it's worth the risk. And I'm going to do it for the lols, for science. So just drive, oh, drive down the road here. Beautiful timing. You can tell this is meant to be. All the lights are changing to green. The universe is on our side. Come on, we got this. Looks like this is the pickup joints. I don't have any beacons on the truck either. So we've got the wrong chassis, the wrong engine, and we don't have the right equipment. But we have faith, and we have hope, and we have a modicum of skill. Not much, but we have a bit. Right, freight market. Massive technical, but this is so wide, this box. This is not easy. I would have preferred that one just for the shape of it. This is always a problem. But I just don't think 60 tons is ever going to work. I don't even think 44 is going to work, but we'll find out. Right, boys, if you could just make the box a bit narrower, that would be awesome. <laughs> right, there we go. The usual. Let's see if we can get the beacons on the back. There we go. Right, so the trailer's got a beacon on it. We have nothing. I might put the four beams on as well. I know, I know the AI won't like it, but I don't care about the AI because it doesn't care about me. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Yikes. This doesn't want to move. If we end up on a hill, there's zero chance of a hill start. So we we need to not stall it or lose momentum on a hill. Because we're not going to go anywhere if we do that. Oh my god, this thing tips. Yikes. The suspension is entirely wrong. Can you see it? Like, it literally is just... When I turn, the whole cabin just completely collapses because the chassis is all wrong. Actually, you know what? I should have checked the route, shouldn't I? Mind you, I don't. There's, there's no point checking the route. I can't change it anyway. I don't think... Actually, I've never tried that. I've never tried to change the route on a, on a special transport. Do we have to drive where he goes, or can we actually set the routing? That's an interesting question. Yeah, you can't. You can't change it. Uh, all right, so... Oh, dear. That doesn't look good. I don't like the look of that at all. A2, A2. That's not so bad. That's fine. That's probably fine. Um, yeah, that's probably the worst part by the look of it. If that's a climbing turn, then we're... We're screwed. 
like there's no way we're going to make a climbing turn with this. Look, just look at the chassis. Like, highly inappropriate cab. Okay, so the important thing is being the right gear. Keep the momentum going. I can't see a thing down that side. I'm guessing I need to be positioned about here. On the road. And that looks about right. He will move vehicles over for us, but I'm also concerned about the right side of the trailer. And because it's night time, I can't see very well. Okay, the roads are quiet. This is good. There we go. Now we can see. Right. All right. All right. So if we keep the... Yeah. The white line in the center, if we hit that roughly down the left of the windscreen there, just where that vent is, the air vent, if we hit that, then we're roughly the right width for the road. Like that. So we'll work on that basis, see how we get on. Okay, and he clears us on the left, that's fine. So now we've got a rough positioning. I'm not worried about cars, I'm more worried about trucks and coaches. Yeah, this is utter madness, but the, the payoff of 9.5k was just too good to be true. Like, <laughs> I can't... Oh, not a coach and a bend! No! No, 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 no! Okay. Drop down a gear. Because, you know, okay, 9.5k, but if I hit a truck with this, or hit a lamppost with this, or something, then the penalties are going to be pretty severe. Of course, the good thing about these jobs is there's actually no rush. There's no, uh, it's expected between 4.20am and 3pm. So you have all the time in the world to deliver it. And of course, you never need to stop for any lights. So there is that. Oh boy, that cab tips. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, it was going so well. And I went to external camber and completely goofed it. No, and I was stuck. And I don't have enough power. Oh boy. Let's try going backwards a bit. If I could just get the box. Yeah, 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 bro. We know about that. We just get the box away from there and lose that friction. Oh, come on. I can't believe that. That's like pure driver error right there. Really? Really a special transport job and you're doing that? Really? See, it kind of looks like it should move. That's the weird thing. Stop freaking out, bro. There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, we had it then. Kind of looks like it should be moving. I don't know why it isn't. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Saved. <laughs> Look at the truck. The the traffic. Oh my god. Yeah, that was purely my fault. I went external camera. Wasn't really paying attention to my position on the road. And the box caught the central reservation. Whew. Right, did we damage anything? 3% on the truck, but I'm not sure if that was there before. I didn't hit the truck with anything, so that was probably already there. That's just general wear and tear, I think. If that's as bad as it get, I'm happy with that. And it appears to be daylight is on its way. Let's just 
cruise control here. Now, bear in mind, I don't have a retarder either. So, once we start going downhill, this thing's going to pick up huge amounts of momentum. Let's try and stay away from that central reservation. Like, I really don't trust it now. Okay, that's fine, though. That's fine. I mean, I'm... I'm fine with taking up a couple of lanes, but I need to stay behind the convoy car because if I don't sit behind him, it'll invalidate the mission. I have to stay in his lane, but I can be like left over on his lane. As long as he thinks I'm in his lane, it's fine. Right, this is where it's going to start building up speed. There you go. Let's hit the brakes a bit. Yeah, because they will try and overtake, I think, those vehicles. Okay, here we go. This is the right-hand turn. It looks... Yeah, well, it looks like we're going downhill, so that's not so bad. Just got to get the position right now. Because the problem is, if it's like a climbing spiral, I just don't have the power. So if I don't keep momentum going, I stop for one second, I'll never get it going. But if we're going downhill, it's fine. We can just take our time. Because some of these... Oh, my. God. That is super, super, super narrow. Do you know, I don't even think this is possible. Oh boy. Why do they make these slip roads so narrow? Let's just keep it over to the right a bit. Yeah, so you imagine this as a climbing turn right now. And I'm trying to go at this speed, like in first gear. It's just not going to happen. And if I do touch the side, it'll just kill all my momentum and we'll stop dead and we'll never get going again. So keep the speed back, keep the speed back. That's good enough for me. Ooh. We're having to earn our money this time. This is no walk in the park. Simple job. Oh boy, we've got to climb. Watch the revs. Revs are trending downwards. Oh, it's holding. It's holding. We got it. Yeah, if the revs are starting to trend downwards, it's a sure sign that uh, you need a lower gear. But it's just a matter of when you make the change to the next gear. If you're in automatic, you don't worry about all this stuff, of course, but I like driving in manual because it's fun. You have to really think about your gears. There's a truck in lane two. Let's slow it down. There's a truck in lane two back there that's going to want to pass us. I don't think I'm going to let him. I think I'm just going to block the road, basically. I don't want to have to deal with that. Yeah, there he is. That Renault. Nope. Because <laughs> chances are that guy will hit my trailer and we'll get fined for it. Right, so if I remember the routing, this is the A2 southbound. Um, and then we make a right turn or something like that. Or the A2 carries on turning right or something. I'll actually leave it on that map overlay because I don't need to see the details. I'll just follow the car, but I need to know what's coming. So the main culprit right now is, uh, is hill climbs and stuff. Where's he gone? Alright, he's moved back over, that's fine. We're about halfway. Uh, 117 k's left. I think it was a 220 job or something. So, so far so good, but we're not home and dry yet. Okay, downhill. Get ready on the brakes. you see all those hills like because we're kind of 
where we are, we're kind of moving towards Austria and Italy, and it starts to get quite hilly, which is my big concern. That if one of the roads takes us that way. I'm just going to slow it down here because the suspension, look at it, the suspension is... The whole cab is just diving. Oh, and these guys are overtaking. Keep it steady. We got this. Slow it down a bit. So I'm trying to keep at the revs, like, roughly at the top of that green arc, if I can. But we're kind of trending downhill a little bit, or we were. And it keeps up. Oh, sunrise, look at this. Beautiful sunrise over the mountains. Fantastic. Look at that. Gorgeous. Even if we don't make this delivery, it was really fun trying, you know? Like an overnight special delivery, at our level, in our truck, it's kind of punching above your weight a little bit, you know? It's fun. And if we can make this work, it's definitely going to help us financially. Okay, he's going to start turning right, but I think it just looks like it's not a turn for us, that's fine. There's a junction, but we don't need to do anything with that. Again, when I first started playing this game, the special transport jobs weren't even an option. So, I could never have even attempted this. And to be honest, I didn't even think about that. Um, until I saw the job in the job market, I just thought, well, I'm going to try and go east or uh, west, sorry. That was, that was where I want to go. I want to go towards Italy or France. And then I saw the special transport job and 60 tons. Nope, that's not going to happen. 44, can we do that? <laughs> Maybe. No shortage of vehicles wanting to pass us right now. I suppose I could move over and let a couple pass, couldn't I? If I sit on this side, we've got we've got plenty of room currently. Slow it down a little bit. You can tell you're heading west when you can see the sun rising in your mirrors. <laughs> Keep my eye on the road ahead. I want to see what, like, where the central reservation starts to cut back. I'm going to start moving over a little bit and blocking any traffic coming past me. I want to make sure we're like nowhere near that reservation. Because if that guy comes down the side of me and I need to suddenly move left because of that, I can't. Oh boy, what are you up to? You, up you see, this is why I don't like the AI traffic. They overtake you then start doing crazy stuff. I, why did that guy slow down? No idea. Looking at the map, we are... got a right turn, but I can't see what kind of junction it is. We'll put it on that view for now. Let's let a few more pass. Yeah, the barrier's well away, so we'll let a few more go. Drop the headlights back now.
Because even though you drive them with a beacon on, I don't think the AI does anything different. I think they just try and drive past you anyway. Maybe the convoy car at the back kind of pushes them over, but I'm not... I'm not convinced. Let's have a quick look what's behind. Oh, boy. It's more like a Swedish colour, isn't it? Blue and yellow. Right, 33 k's away. Now we're on the home straight. We've just got to get off this motorway and get through whatever junction it's going to throw at us. You can see it coming up. It looks like a possibly descending right turn. What's going on? Okay, he brake checked me and then it freaked me out then. I didn't know what he was doing. Okay, this looks like a nasty hill climb. Let's get revs up. Let's get loads of revs up. This doesn't look fun. This doesn't look fun at all. Come on. Come on, get the drive down, get the drive down. Okay, revs are just about holding. Oh boy, look at this. This isn't even particularly steep either. If I try and change gear now, it's... It's not going to work out well. I think we can get away with holding it. Revs are trending back. I mean, even that, that wasn't even particularly steep. And that almost went horribly wrong. Just to slow it down. Just take it nice and easy down here. I've got space on the left, so I'll stay left. I mean... Like, I'm literally off the tarmac. Look at this. I'm over on the tarmac as much as I can be. And there's not enough room. This is crazy. What am I supposed to do? Ride on the grass? Now I need to get back in lane before he thinks I've left the convoy. I actually think that uh, junction needs widening for this special delivery, because that was not wide enough. I was full on as much as I could go left. And you can't take 44 tons off-road on the grass. That's just not going to work out well. Of course, they're all trying to overtake. Why not? I do my best to stay in this lane but stop them from overtaking me because I don't want that added pressure. But there really is not much room on luck at this guy. I mean, I'm like inches away from a barrier and he's like, oh, I must get past, I've got an appointment. That was nasty. That was possibly the trickiest part so far. Looks like we've got a right turn into Grass Town Centre. And then another right and then a left into the drop-off. Just going to change that to show like that. Right, you know what? Let's keep wide. Because I know what this game is like. You get something here, like a trailer, a truck and trailer, or a coach right there on that junction. And that can give you severe grief. Okay, 
We're looking steady again. Do you know there were, there were points back there when I was holding my breath? <laughs> you know one of those situations where you forget to blink, forget to breathe, like... <gasps> We've got a discoverable here as well. Look at the cab. The cab just dips over something nasty. I think that's a drop off where the chimney is, I'd guess. I don't know why the AI's tooting the horns when the convoy's coming through. Kind of feel like they shouldn't, you know? Alright. Oh boy, where are we going with this thing? Wait, so... I'm supposed to drive it in between the gap? Right, okay. Does this, has anybody measured this? Does this box fit through here? <laughs> I have to bring it all this way and then I can't even drop it off properly. I'm going to assume that the drop-off point is here with that at the back. Imagine the green line should be flashing there. There we go. Yes! Oh boy. Oh yes. Show me the money. Whew. That was a good delivery. Wow. I think we've earned our money on this one. Maybe we can even get a level out of this. 500 XP, probably not. Nine and a half grand, though. I'll take that. Let's have a look at what we're doing here. Um, did the bank take their payment? 2,800 a day. That's not changed, so I don't, I don't think the bank's taken payment yet. Yeah, 40 grand in the bank. 40 grand?! Can you believe it? That was a cool drop. I've never, ever, ever done a special transport like such so early in our career. I think we were a bit lucky in terms of the, the routing, although it was a bit sketchy in places. But to haul 44 ton special like that with a 4x2 300 brake Scania, that's, uh, that's cool. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Until next time, take care. Happy trucking.